Hi, Mr. Unkert here, and in this video, I'm going to look at HSL and HSLA colors. The H stands for hue, S stands for saturation, L stands for lightness, and A stands for alpha, which like in the previous video with RGB and RGBA, the alpha means the opacity. Okay, so I, I found online this HSL color picker it's uh, the website's workwithcolor.com backslash, backslash hsl-color-picker-01.htm. Okay, and it's going to give me uh, basically the hue, which goes from 0 to 360 degrees, the saturation, which goes from uh, 0 to 100%, and the lightness, which goes from 0 to 100%. Okay, so I go here. Um, I'm going to, that looks like a light purple to me, so I'm going to define a light purple class in my style sheet. So I'm going to type a period and light purple. And then I'm going to type color colon HSL. Okay, we're going to give the degrees of 321 degrees, the percent with type 96 percent and the um, lightness which is 59 percent I'm going to do a semicolon here okay and on my page I want to do a heading two with a class of light purple I'm going to hit tab and I'm going to say this is light purple and hit control S to save, and let's see, and we have a light purple color. Okay, with HSLA, I can create a sort of see-through color. So I'm going to say, create a class of see-through light purple, and I'm gonna have the color as HSLA. I'm gonna do the degrees, 321, uh, the same saturation and lightness, but then I'm going to give, whoops, and I've got to do a percent here, not a dollar sign. Um, I'm going to give an opacity of 0 0.3, so it's going to be fairly see-through. I'm going to hit control save, and let's take a look at that. So I'm going to do h2.seethrough, and I guess it class of light purple, hit tab. Uh, this is a see-through light purple. Control S to save and go back here and refresh and you can almost not even see it. It's that much see-through. Um, you know what? I want to make it a little bit more visible. So I'm going to change the opacity to 0 0.5. Hit Control S to save and refresh and you'll see uh, it gets a little bit darker and it's a little bit less see-through as I increase the opacity. Okay, if I want to try out some other colors, I can go back here. And one of the colors uh, that you can write by name in your CSS is Scion, but I'm going to call this uh, Tim Scion. So I'm going to create a class called Tim Scion. And I'm going to get a color, HSL color. Whoops. And I'm going to do 183 degrees, 96% again, uh, and 46%. Okay, Get my colon, a semicolon there, and save it. And that was the Tim Scion class. And I'm going to say this is Tim's version of Scion. Okay. Hit control S to save and let's refresh and check that out. Okay, so I've got my version of, of Scion. So I would encourage you to go online and play with this color picker. You can come up with a whole bunch of different colors just as you did with RGB and RGBA to really enhance your website and make it look really cool. Uh, thank you for watching. Uh, if you like this video, please like and subscribe. Also, please check out my website, web devinstruction.com. I'll leave a link for that in the description. 
And again, thank you for watching. Have a great day.